I started jumping on a little bit of Halo 5 again, and there was some smaller Halo 5 tournaments that were being played, but a lot of really good players were playing in these tournaments. And myself, Bald, and Zirkel thought we would make a sort of muck around team with Monza. And we were just basically doing it to sort of uh, pass time during coronavirus and stuff like that. And then sort of we just rekindled that friendship there. And then Bald, he actually sent Hayden and I a message because we were joking about coming back, but like we were kind of like not serious about competing again. And he was like, hey, look guys, like, are you serious about coming back? Because I think like, I want to play and I think you guys should give it one more shot. And then we had a discussion about that and we all said, you know what? We're all competitive people. We want to give it one more shot. So we came back and that's how the was formed. We were a core three back on Halo 5, me, Dino and Zirkle. We also had the, the ball momentum. Everyone everyone loves the boy. Everyone knows the boy. Momentum currently isn't competing. And we decided we, we needed someone, you know, who could, I guess, resemble his play style and just like kill everything and go around taking on 1v2s. So that's why we picked up Vamped. You know, he's he's that young god that, you know, he, he loves to go and shoot around people and just, you know, kill everything. So it's, I feel like it's the fit that we needed for the squad, you know, really makes everything come together. He, he brings a lot of slaying, you know, to the squad, which is what we need. He kills people. He has good, like, calm communication as well in the game when we need it. Because me, Dino, and Zirkle all, like, you know, we're blabbering on. We're saying a lot of a lot of garbage. And then, you know, Keegan will come in and say a few important things, which is, like, it's perfect for the squad, really. Killing Machine. He just runs around the map. And if he's playing good, I don't think anyone can stop him. And he's just really talented. And he's a great slayer. Zirkle, he is probably the hype man of the team, but he also brings that cool, calm demeanor, and it's something that our team kind of needs at some points. Sometimes we can get a little bit tilted, or sometimes we can get a little bit upset if we lose a close game. And he just seems to always be that voice that basically like cheers us up, calms us down. Everyone sees him, you know, screaming at lands and everything, but he actually brings a lot of calm to the squad, you know, when we need it. You know, slow down, guys, slow down. I think Zirkle is quite similar to me. He's real good slang. But he's also he's probably a lot smarter than me when it comes to in-game decisions. Old Unit brings a lot of experience to the team and he's a really good objective player. So he's always thinking about how to help the team or what he needs to do off spawn to basically win the game, which is great to have in a teammate. He's kind of like the flame sword, the lunchboxes of NZ. Uh, he's going to do all the dirty work for us to get the W. Dino, in this game, I feel like he brings more slang and, you know, outright just beasting, I guess, you know? He's very consistent. He barely ever plays a bad game. Even when he does play a bad game, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's really good. He's a really good overall player. I think I contribute just a great all-rounded sort of play style. I kind of slot in to what we need done on the day. I'm always trying to play for the win. I'm always trying to help my team. I think I do that role really well. Off the rip of the game, actually, we didn't actually perform too well. I think in the first comp, we came 7th, 8th. And we were kind of like, wow, are we washed? Like, are we no good anymore? But we thought, you know, it was only a few days into the comp. So we were like, all right, we're going to grind it out. We went over strategy. We started talking more. We just started figuring out the maps. And I think having players that have competed at a high level for so many years helped us sort of figure that out and pushed us on a path a little bit quicker, which then went on to getting us that second place in the, the Raleigh qualifier. And then we ended up qualifying for Raleigh, but because of the COVID restrictions in New Zealand, we weren't actually able to make that event. So that was really unfortunate because that would have been a great experience for the boys. Um, I just believe that we're all on the same page when it comes to how we can get better. And it's not just about dropping the person with the worst stats and picking up someone and trying to find that instant success like a lot of teams. We're just relying on our own teamwork and playing our own game. So. I think we'd be happy with top three, but ultimately we would like to really push for that top two and either have really close games with the Chiefs or even potentially take them down. I feel like we would be happy with top two. Um, that's definitely something that we, we want and we thrive for. But yeah, you know, the Chiefs are uh, they're on another level right now, so it's going to be very difficult to take that number one spot. But you know, top two, I feel like we got it. So.